What's going on everyone? Welcome to your second 3D's Max tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to work with the viewport and uh, how to view your objects effectively. So I know I didn't teach you guys how to create objects or anything, but we're going to need one for this tutorial. So um, in the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to show you guys how to create objects, but since we need a quick one for this tutorial, just follow along. Go ahead and click teapot right here and make sure you have your uh, select object and then once you have teapot selected just go ahead and click the middle of your perspective viewport and just drag uh, from the inside out and the more you drag the bigger object gets so just go ahead and make a medium sized one and bam we have a teapot so that's your uh, one quick tutorial on how to create an object and that's all you get for now if you want more you have to watch later this tutorial isn't about creating objects, it's about viewports. So let's get to viewports. So as I said in the last tutorial, each viewport one, two, three, four is for viewing a different angle of the of this teapot in this case. Uh, for example, this one's the top view, front view, left view, and perspective view, which is pretty much your custom view. And you have this little thing, and this is called a view cube in the upper right hand corner now a view cube is what you're probably going to be using a lot to get different angles when working with your object so for example you can see that this view cube has a little thing that says front left and top so if you go ahead and click front you go ahead and you get the front view you can go ahead and click one of these corners also to get uh, different views and aside from just clicking it to move it to a new position you can also um, hold your mouse down on the view cube and don't just click it hold your mouse button down and drag it just like this and when you drag it it rotates to a custom view and if you just want to rotate it and you don't want to go up or down or anything uh, you can go ahead and click this little circle right here and when you scroll your mouse up and down or left and right it doesn't really matter then it changes views and it only rotates it so what I usually do most of the time is just um, click and drag the entire cube so that way I have total control over it. But aside from this, you also have a house in your top left corner. And this is your home view. So go ahead and click this house right here, right next to your viewport. And this always brings you back to home. So if you're working with a weird view like something, modeling it down here, you can go ahead and click the house and it will bring you back to default. So this is called your home state and it is pretty much your default view. And anytime you want a new default view like you want to be working in this angle a lot, you can go ahead and right click your view cube and you can set current current view as home. And now this view will be home. And anytime you don't want it again, this uncheck it. But right now I just want to keep mine as home, so bam, there you go. So that's pretty much your basics of the view cube. If you need to customize it even further, you can go to views, your views menu at the top, view cube, and you can go to, uh, what is it, configure. So this lets you configure the view cube, um, like things like the size of it, opacity, uh, snap to closest view, but I just like to keep the default since I'm teaching people in these tutorials. So, well, that's all you get. So if you want to customize it even further, again, views, view cube, uh, configure. But another thing aside from the view cube, if you want a different way to view your objects, you can also have something called a steering wheel. Now in order to get to the steering wheel, you can either go to view, steering wheel, and toggle steering wheels, and then that brings up this thing, which is a steering wheel. I'm gonna close out of this real quick. The easier way to get to this is to hold down the shift key if you're working with a PC and press W. And this also brings up the steering wheel. You just don't have to go through the menus first. Again, that's shift and press W. So what this allows you to do is use these different buttons, which is like zoom and there we go. I was messing up last time. So just click zoom and drag your mouse up or down to zoom in. Uh, you can also do things like orbit so you can orbit around this point or you can go ahead and click pan or 
let's see, what's another one? Uh, up and down, that's a good one. To just like uh, move the camera up or down. But I usually don't like to do any of this since I just use um, the viewport mostly and what I'm about to tell you next time. But if you do like using the steering wheel and you, well, want to use it, go ahead and click views. Um, what do I go to? The configure viewport configurations. And then you can go ahead and click steering wheels. And this will give you uh, more control if you want to customize your steering wheel any further. And now to probably the best method of all for viewing your objects. And that's the plain old middle mouse scroll button. Now, you need a mouse button with a middle scroll button on it to use it, of course. So, just go ahead, and if you move your scroll button like this, it zooms your object in and out. So, bam. How easy is that? You don't have to click anything. You just have to move your finger a little bit. So, anytime you want to pan, which is pretty much like viewing your object like a piece of paper and moving it around, just press the scroll button, press that middle button, and go ahead and move it around like that. So now we know how to pan by clicking and dragging and zoom. So what else can we do with the scroll button? Well, there's one other thing we can do, and that's rotate. And if you press the Alt tab on your keyboard, and I know you finally got to bring out your left hand. If you hold down Alt on your keyboard and click and drag just like you were panning, you can rotate it. So just with the mouse button, this is probably the easiest and laziest way, and that's why I use it. You could zoom it by rolling it you can pan it by clicking and dragging and if you alt and try to click and drag it rotates it so how easy and awesome is that so that is your real quick tutorial on how do you get different views using um, the viewport and steering wheel and most effectively your mouse button that's probably one I'm gonna be doing most often but sometimes, you know, I like to use this viewport just to toggle on and off. But anyways, that's your real quick tutorial on how to get different views. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And definitely don't forget to check out my next tutorial. So thank you, and I'll see you then.